So everyone's had elotes or Mexican street corn at this point, but have you had esquites or Mexican street corn off the cob? This corn salad is the perfect side dish for summer or really any season. And today I'm going to show you how to make it on a grill, or if you don't want to deal with the Texas heat like I'm doing, I'll show you how to make it on a stove top as well. This has a unique Asian spin on it inspired by Chef Roy Choi and his restaurant Best Friend in Las Vegas, where he kind of puts a Korean LA spin on things. I've done something similar and we added grilled jalapeno, but enough about ingredients. We'll get to all that in a second. Let's jump into the recipe. Let's start with the grilled version. So you'll preheat your Traeger or your pellet grill to 450 to 500 degrees with the lid closed for about 15 minutes. And then you'll spray four ears of shucked corn and two jalapeno peppers with a little bit of avocado oil spray, or you can brush on olive oil, avocado oil, any oil here. About one to two tablespoons will probably do the trick and you'll grill for 20 to 25 minutes, turning occasionally. I like to put the corn towards the front or back in those hot spots, get some nice browning and keep the jalapenos in the center. Then pull those off to cool briefly and the skin should peel right away from those jalapenos. This makes for a more pleasant eating experience and a digestive experience. And then we'll use a knife to remove the kernels from the corn and we'll slice those jalapenos in half and remove most of the seeds. You don't have to get all the seeds. Uh, I like to kind of slice down the sides there and remove that big membrane with most of the seeds and then dice these up. And then we will set this aside while we prep all the other ingredients. But first, I'll show you how to make this in a pan. Start by removing the kernels from the four ears of corn. If you want to save yourself a little bit of mess, you can do this right in the bowl here. And then we will dice, we'll remove the seeds and membranes and dice our two jalapeno peppers. By the way, the jalapeno in both versions is totally optional. You know, if you want to, if you're not a big fan of spice and heat, you can leave these out. Uh, you can also, in this version, you could finally dice this jalapeno and use it fresh in with your scallions and cilantro towards the end of the recipe. Once your veggies are prepped, heat a large skillet over high heat before adding two tablespoons of oil. And once the oil is hot, you can add the veggies, stir this, push it into an even layer to create as much surface area as possible. Hit it with a pinch of kosher salt and black pepper. And then cook for about two minutes until you get some nice charring on the bottom. Then we'll stir, kind of flip this around and cook the other side for another two to three minutes. You're looking for a golden brown color, even browning throughout, and then turn off the heat and set this aside. We'll want it to cool briefly before we add it to the crema. Speaking of, like I mentioned in the intro, it's a little bit of an Asian spin with Kewpie mayo and chili garlic sauce. I'll link to the full recipe in the description below, which has more ideas for things like sriracha, gochujang, salsa matcha, other ideas for making this crema kind of your own and some possible substitutes. So whether you made grilled or pan roasted, we'll add that to our crema and then we'll slice two scallions and about two handfuls or 10 grams of cilantro. We'll finally chop that. Then we have two ounces of cotilla cheese. Feta cheese works great as a substitute if you can't find cotilla cheese. And then we'll stir everything together, salt to taste, and you're ready to serve. Classic Mexican esquite is a street food, so you'll find it served on its own. But we like to serve with tortilla chips or as a side dish to main dishes like fajitas, grilled chicken. You'll find more ideas on what to serve with this at the link in the description below. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions about this recipe. And like and subscribe for more.